The figure eight series of knots is one of the most commonly used series of knots in rope work. Um, we'll look at this, tying this in uh, 11 mil cord here, and I'll start off with the series with the skeleton knot. So, um, like the overhand, I'm gonna make this loop, but if I was making the overhand, I would just come right up through this loop. For the figure eight, I'm gonna do one more half twist, and then come up through the other side of that same loop. When I come up through the other side of that same loop, I end up with this shape, this form, which is in fact the figure eight. It's the figure eight skeleton. Again, the skeleton, not especially useful for us in this, uh, in, in this particular configuration, but provides us a form to make some other really useful knots. So if I untie that, uh, I fold this over, make a 180 degree turn out of this, the, uh, the bite, and then treat these two strands as if they're one and do that exact same thing. Again, there are several ways of actually creating this, but for my purposes, I'll wrap around once and then up the other way, come in the back, and you can see I've created that figure eight on a bite. Figure eight on a bite. Um, I've got a nice parallel strands throughout. This is a nicely dressed knot. Um, as long as it's dressed enough that it's easily identifiable, that's fine. Great, figure eight on a bite. Okay, we'll next do the figure eight bend. So I'll start near the end here and create a figure eight skeleton um, with enough tail. Okay, very good. That's enough without it being too much. I'll take the other end here and this will allow me to either connect two ropes together or tie this rope in a big loop. Um, I'll take this because bends connect ends. I'm gonna come in this side and now I'll just follow this through. I'm gonna pull through enough slack here that I'm sure I'm able to have enough to follow through, wrap around and keep following this strand, and then keep following that strand, and then keep following that strand, all the way through like that. Okay, and then again, I've got my figure eight bend and the bends should have ends coming out opposite sides of the knot. Oftentimes it's called a Flemish bend. Uh, and this bend allows us to connect uh, ropes together or tie ropes in a loop. Nicely dressed here, uh, tails that are plenty long. Great. And then the last form in the figure eight series that we'll look at is uh, the figure eight follow through. And the figure eight follow through is probably the most common usage of the figure eight. This is how we typically attach to the end of our, uh, of our, wor our working ropes. So I tie a skeleton uh, and then make sure I have enough tail, about an arm's length worth of tail, give or take. Uh, it'll depend on exactly what we're doing with it in the diameter of rope, but about an arm's length. Um, then I'll take this, I'll feed this up through my, the end, through my two tie-in points on my harness. Uh, and then pull this in nice and snug. I usually want this pretty close into my harness. Uh, and then again, pulling it all the way through. I'm gonna follow this. Uh, because this is a follow through and not a bend, if it was a bend, I'd be coming in this side. A follow through, I'm coming in this side. And then I'm gonna follow around that way. So I'll take this, come through there. And then I'm gonna follow around this way. And then I'm gonna follow up that way. Okay, there it is. And now I've got a figure eight follow through and this is one of our, uh, one of the knots we use very commonly, uh, tie into our harness. Uh, pretty close connection there, um, just enough tail um, and neatly dressed there so I can easily tell it's a figure eight.